The NanoKnife IRE Surgical Ablation System is the first to use irreversible electroporation, also known as IRE, to treat soft tissue lesions. Two or more NanoKnife IRE disposable electrodes are positioned in or around the lesion, and an electrical field is created between them in a series of microsecond pulses, which induces cell death in the encompassed soft tissue. Unlike cryoablation or radiofrequency ablation, which use thermal treatment to destroy tissue, IRE treats without exposing tissue to extreme cold or heat, eliminating a major cause of treatment failure and possible damage to normal tissue. IRE treats similar volumes of tissue to RFA and cryosurgery, typically in a fraction of the time, less than four minutes for a four by three centimeter volume. NanoKnife IRE treatment is minimally invasive and is performed under general anesthesia with ultrasound or CT guidance. Preoperative imaging allows precise calculation of the tissue volume and shape to be treated and aids the planning of appropriate positioning for the NanoKnife IRE electrodes. A NanoKnife IRE treatment consists of a series of 90 extremely short electrical pulses each less than 100 millionths of a second. Cell death is induced within seconds and the patient can often be released from the hospital the same day. Nanonife IRE treatment induces cell death in soft tissue only. Nanonife electrodes are placed in proximity to the targeted lesion but unlike thermal ablation technologies, surrounding critical structures, including nerves and blood vessels, remain functional. During treatment, NanoKnife's unique action opens permanent nano-sized pores in the cell membrane, causing irreversible damage, which rapidly induces a natural cell death. After NanoKnife IRE treatment, cells that form the nerves, blood vessels, and other collagenous tissues in the treated area remain viable, reducing the risk of damage to these structures. Microscopic imaging after treatment reveals a sharply delineated separation between affected and unaffected cells. The NanoKnife treated area begins to resolve immediately after the procedure as the body's normal healing response produces cells that engulf and remove treated cells from the region, much like the healing process of a bruise. Doppler ultrasound imaging during NanoKnife ablation demonstrates the patency of blood vessels, as small as one millimeter in diameter in the treated area. 30 days after NanoKnife surgical ablation, CT and ultrasound imaging reveal a mostly normal appearance with little remaining evidence of the IRE treatment. As seen on imaging, critical structures continue to function normally. Blood flow in the treated area aids healing and minimizes potential treatment side effects.